amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stack this high, as far as you can see, because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. <laughs> And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work, with nowhere to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. Okay. We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? The Russians and Chinese still pursue a policy of deterrence. Do you see? Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear? Metal Gear! Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even that bunch on the military oversight committee bribes just call it the military industrial complex <laughs> anyway metal gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed i don't give a crap about you or your company yes that's about what i'd expect from a grunt like you here. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this dis exists. Sicko. Make sure that you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. I love it. Can you walk? No. You go on without me. Oh, they got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. Uh, that ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> You know him? <laughs> you should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 what? What did you do to me? 
Listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. Mm -hmm. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Ah, super. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Okay. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Ok. Je crois qu'il y a une caméra par là. Je l'entends. J'aime pas trop ça. Donc on a une carte niveau 2. Hein. Tu te tais. Niveau 2 Non mais dis-moi... <rire> me dis pas que je pouvais passer par là. Je pouvais passer par là. Par contre, j'ai vu. Euh... Non, pas de ration. J'ai cru voir une ration, mais en fait, non. Bon, tant pis. Tant pis, tant pis, tant pis. Oh quel con On va écouter. C'est bon Vous êtes cal... Est-ce que vous êtes calmé me retrouver merde ça s'est bien passé alors en fait ouais 
j'aurais dû regarder s'il y avait des trucs sur les côtés. En fait, il y a des capteurs. Et j'aurais dû utiliser genre la, la clope, la fumée de la clope pour les, euh, les voir apparaître. C'est ballot. Voilà, cassez-vous. Je remets une, on sait jamais. Ça, c'est niveau 5. Alors, toi. Ok. Ici, il y a du niveau 1, c'est le C4, on s'en fout. Mais ici, c'est niveau 3, c'est le Nikita. Très bien. Bah écoutez, voilà. Euh, B1. Non, le niveau 1, du coup. Par contre, du coup, faut que je fasse attention. C'est qu'ici, il y a plein de caméras. Tu dors vraiment, c'est mieux. Le, sup le silencieux pour le socom. Qui est où Ah, il est de l'autre côté. Voilà. Ça va être mieux maintenant. On passe sous le char parce que comme ça on est tranquille. Il n'a pas vu son pote, hein. ça c'est plutôt cool. Évidemment que tu imagines des choses. Maintenant, je vais m'occuper un peu des caméras. Parce qu'elles sont chiantes. Merde. Tout va bien. En fait, carré, il est au milieu de la manette, quoi. Enfin, c'est le bouton A. La caméra est trop loin. Par contre, celle-là, je peux la choper d'ici. Putain, je suis fort. Tout 
tout va bien. J'essaie de choper l'autre caméra de l'autre côté. Comme ça, ce sera plus simple. On les pète tout de suite, on sera tranquille. Voilà, vous êtes nul. Parfait. Le mec, il fait pas son rapport, mais il n'y a pas de signe de lui, donc c'est bon. Les gardes comme ça, je les aime bien. Voilà, une chaffe. J'ai plus de ration depuis 10 ans. Je dois avouer que ça m'embête un peu. Le détecteur de mine, il était donc là. Quoi, je vais carrément l'emmener lui et le cacher là-bas avant qu'il vienne m'embêter. Et on va appeler Meryl du coup. Meryl dont le codec est alors c'est Stark A. Euh, non, c'est faut aller dans Tune et c'est euh... putain, je vois rien. C'est 145. Non mais. Ah oh, putain, fermez là. Mais. Batman. I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. <laughs> you came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? Oh, that's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Mm -hmm. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader? Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? No. I have no family. So what's the deal then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. <laughs> But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? 
I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. Lico. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Oh no. Anyway, you met Baker. Est-ce que tu les as mis dans ta foune? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. D'accord. Second floor basement. Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. <laughs> How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. Oh, c'est la merde. Security level of the door there. Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. C'est beau. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. It was frightening to think that with a pull of a trigger, I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. Yeah, we... If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard, just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you, the real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Okay. 
Donc quand même Meryl euh, qui est euh, une habituée des jeux de Kojima on va dire puisque elle apparaissait déjà dans euh, 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 Police Notes. Hein Puis c'est pas genre euh, non elle a le même prénom non c'est le même perso quoi. Niveau 4, ok. Alors par contre, euh, moi je vais être en galère de... Euh, de comment ça s'appelle De vie, déjà. Donc toi je suis désolé, mais... Dans le doute. Voilà, dans le doute. Ah si, ça pisse un peu quand même. Ah, il n'y a pas de ration dans le coin, hein, sérieux. J'ai pas de vie, quoi. Les balles de M9, c'est super. Oui. Snake, I unlock the cargo door for you. Ah, parfait Where are you Where I can see ya Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Du cul. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. Ah oui, c'est génial ça. If intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait. You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Ah, like us. Get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Elle est un peu imprudente. Hein. Bon, et sinon, il sinon, y avait toi, hein. Freeze. No. Ah ouais, on n'a pas autant de touches que sur, euh, que sur PlayStation. Donnez-moi des rations. Motherfucker, quoi. Des rations, s'il vous plaît. Oui. Si. Yeah. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. Ouais, ouais, tu l'as déjà dit. What is it? You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Ouais. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Alors ouais, les gens qui disaient ouais dans MGS5 il n'y a pas le codec et tout, est-ce que ça vous gêne vraiment hein Honnêtement... Voilà, grâce à la fumée de cigarette, on voit les lasers. Ça s'est bien passé. Genre J'ai raté Oh j'ai raté quoi Ah peut-être le dernier ouais Mais euh, la caméra hein. J'ai envie de dire la caméra Le problème c'est que c'est des lasers et du coup on sait pas trop euh, Lequel est le bon Ah oh, mais là je vais juste crever De toute façon hein, donc euh... Oui, non, mais je vais juste crever. Ah, sinon, je peux utiliser ça, c'est vrai. <rire> Il est mort à la clope au bec. C'est effectivement dans le, dans, sur PlayStation 1, euh, faut utiliser la clope, mais là, du coup, on peut tirer sur le. Sur l'extincteur, non Ok. Donc je vais me mettre sur la gauche, comme ça je verrai mieux les lasers arriver. Ok. 
Puis là, il remonte tranquillement. Tranquille, Mimille. Le dernier est plus rapide, j'ai l'impression. Tu sais quand tu veux. Ah non, et venez pas patrouiller, un bande de cons. Voilà Easy Ah, on, pour, on pouvait tirer dans les boîtiers, non C'est possible qu'on puisse tirer dans les boîtiers aussi. Je réessaye un jour. Alors par contre ici... Voilà. Sinon c'est les embrouilles. Ok. Use a mind detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Oh la salope. Deep Throat. The informant from the Watergate scandal. Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen. There's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Très bien. Bon, on va juste choper les mines. Alors les clés morts qu'on euh, qu chope, hein, juste comme ça, en rampant, on peut les désamorcer. Voilà, et moi je vais sauvegarder un jour. Euh, comment on sauvegarde Ah oui, c'est euh, comme ça. Et on va se quitter là, et je vous fais des bisous. Voilà. <rire>